join Bev Lazar, spiritual mentor, Reiki master, psychic medium, with Shelley Greenlaw, doula, yogi, and intuitive energy healer. Two sisters walking the path of spirit to share their experience and advice in all things energy, intuition, and beyond. The Empath Sisters. Hi, and welcome back to another episode with the Empath Sisters. This is Bev. Hi, this is Shelly. <laughs> and today on our episode, we are going to chat with Shelly mm -hmm. and um, all about sound therapy. Mm -hmm. um, sound therapy, sound healing, however you look at that, it's all the same, I would say. <laughs> um, yeah. But yes, um, Shelly has been very passionate about sound therapy and she's been implementing some tools into her practice over the last, I don't know, few years for sure. And um, yeah. she's also added in some, well, not some, a few good uh, newbies to the collection. Mm -hmm. And um, we decided that we would like to talk about it. I would like to know more about it. I don't do a mm -hmm. whole ton of sound therapy per se, um, but I did experience it um, <laughs> when I went to her place. <laughs> So. Um, back in January and, um, Shelly and I typically give each other, uh, some healing when we do get together, not always, but when we're like, do you need something? Do you need anything? We're good. <laughs> we're good. Yeah. I, I could really use it. Okay. So yeah. then we do this exchange of, you know, healing each other. And so Shelly mm -hmm. did use, I'm not sure how many on me or just one or two something, but wowza, mm -hmm. um, it definitely, um, <laughs> shifted and and released a lot of intense deep things within my body so really cool to have that experience not I would say the funnest experiences after the <laughs> fact but I do know that it leads to really good things so uh, not that it was horrific but it was just like wow didn't know all this was there so yeah. um so yeah it was so cool uh, it was awesome I really really enjoyed it and um I really wanted Shelly to have the opportunity to share some of these new tools that she has that she will be implementing in her practice. And maybe some of you out there will get to experience them as well. So yeah, for yeah, sure. take it away. Tell us what okay. you got. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like she's got uh, many. It's like I a do. Collection. <laughs> I really do have a lot. Um, but yes, thank you for uh, mentioning that. Um, mm. Yeah, I, I honestly... I would have to think like how many I have, like I have. She didn't do an inventory check before we started. <laughs> I feel like I have 13 tuning forks. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have got 13. a couple bowls. Yeah. I've got, um, two Tibetan bowls. Yeah. And I treated myself, um, to four crystal singing bowls Nice. And I treated myself to another little newbie and I'm so excited about it because it's, it's a crystal triangle and it is so cool. <laughs> I love awesome. it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, when it comes to, um, sound therapy, I, I don't know, I've always kind of been, um, drawn to frequencies and mm -hmm. even though I have a defibrillator, I technically cannot have any of the frequencies, but I sure love giving them because yeah. I do believe, you know, um, well, it's not even just believing. I know that mm -hmm. um, we're all made out of frequency, right? Mm -hmm. Everything is made out of frequency. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, when it comes to um, frequency, I just feel like we also can benefit, you know, having a frequency on our body, right? And mm -hmm. um, I wanted to share uh, a few little things. So if any of you are watching, I'm just going to read some of my notes. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but what I wanted to say was that, you know, tuning forks is basically like a signal to the physical body. Okay. Yeah. And the 
auric body and mm -hmm. also the mind um, consciousness and it all like to work together in healing the body okay right so yeah. uh everything that exists literally has its own pitch or vibration mm -hmm. all everything like i said mentioned um and because we're always like constantly in like a state of um well, I, I would say like a resonance, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or frequency, whatever you want to call it. Um, but the effect is to like put like one pitch on a person, right? So yeah. the other thing too, it, it, like about tuning forks specifically mm -hmm. is that they are calibrated um, to the frequencies within the scale of the, and I'm going to probably butcher it because I tried practicing saying this word all day. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get it, but it's the plethorium. I can I, I just ruined it. I know I did, oh. but, <laughs> but it's like a planetary frequency. Okay. Mm -hmm. From the earth. And it's actually from the, or like the orbit, um, of the rotation of the earth. And so each tuning fork has this um like they're tuned to that frequency so you're going to probably notice that there are lots of different um tuning forks that have a number mm -hmm. on them that will say like um 520 two, two, two. yeah like yeah. you know uh, and they're all in hertz so you'll just see them in like an hz for the most part mm -hmm. um and then there are you know um D two different types of tuning forks so mm -hmm. there's going to be ones that are unweighted and weighted and the yeah. difference really isn't a whole lot it's just that with the weighted they just have two little and i i really wish i brought my tuning forks tonight to discuss you know or show you on um youtube on youtube if anybody's watching but i forgot them so yeah. um but um what I'm trying to explain is that on a tuning fork that is weighted, they look like two little circle weights almost, and they're mm -hmm. at the very top of the tuning fork. So when right. it's a tuning fork, and what I mean by that is it's like literally if you took your two fingers and you just kind of open them up a little bit, and that's basically what a tuning fork looks like. So it's just if for those are watching, my fingers are up. Yeah. Uh, my first finger and my uh, middle finger and I just spread them a little bit and at the very top on the, the sides fork. they'll have like these circles and they're like yeah. little weights now right. an unweighted is obviously just like this there's nothing without. on it. they're just without okay yeah. um and so you know it just depends on um the frequency mm -hmm. of those tuning forks so you can get um, unweighted and weighted mm -hmm. in the same frequency. It's just whatever you feel that resonates with you that you want to work with. Now, right. I do work with both. Um, however, I don't have tuning forks that are tuned the same frequency in an unweighted or weighted because oh, okay. I like specific tunings in a different fork. I'll right. Say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now with that, um, like with the two types of tuning forks, they are, like I said earlier, they are to be used in resonating with the auric field. Okay. And mm -hmm. so weighted forks, which are applied to the body, right. And mm -hmm. are often, you know, used in like acupuncture, like not acupuncture, acupressure points oh yeah right we, we try to do them as you know on our body like you would if you mm -hmm. were going for acupuncture or acupressure right or even reflexology okay yeah. so um we do try to use those as much as like you know we can but in mm -hmm. my work that i've been working with tuning forks um to be honest uh i am not trained officially because there are courses that you can take you know for mm, tuning cool. forks um i'm not officially trained as a practitioner but what i've always done and i know bev can resonate like resonate with this with me or align mm -hmm. with this with me is that i just always been guided it doesn't matter mm -hmm. like i've always been just guided to know where to use the fork 
Yeah. And so led. I, what's that? Intuitively led. To yes. Yeah. I'm very, area yeah. Spot. Cause yeah. I, I did have a, a person who came in to see me as a, a for sound therapy and mm-hmm. she did ask me and I was very honest with her and I mm-hmm. told her, you know, I'm not a, 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 a you know, a licensed, um, right. uh, sound therapist if you want to call it that with tuning forks I've always just been guided and she was fine with that and that was you know she goes there's not not everybody needs to be it it Mm -hmm. is about being intuitive and things like that but there are some people that want you to be and that's totally too absolutely Um, but as 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 I want to say is that like uh, when I first started Mm-hmm. to be honest, was when I had a session with Bev. And mm-hmm. when she put, I think it was the one, the, the first session you gave me, you did your grounding fork on me. And I remember in that session, mm-hmm. something just was like, you have to do this. You need to be working with this tool. Mm-hmm. And so I ended up buying a set of um, grounding a grounding fork mm-hmm. and which is the 528 hertz and then I bought the chakra set because it yeah. there was an off like a you could buy this chakra set and you could set. do all the set and yeah. uh, I remember getting mm-hmm. it and I remember thinking like okay how am I gonna what am I gonna do with this right because mm-hmm. like I have no idea what to do with them yeah but like I said I've been intuitively shown and yeah with unweighted not that you can't put it on the person's body they just prefer you to use it on the outside of the body like i said in the the field field yeah Mm -hmm. but with the weighted ones are more my favorite um and the reason being is because like i said i can place them on the body Mm -hmm. and i also have what you call a boot on the bottom of my weighted so that it spreads I shouldn't say spreads. Well, yeah, yeah it's mostly sends, sends yeah. the vibration <laughs> a little bit stronger right. into the body. And um, mm-hmm. the ones that I like to use the most mm-hmm. is the the Schumann Resonance Pair. Yeah, And um, that one is more my favorite because it actually is tuned to mm-hmm. help... Um, with the frequency of your DNA. So um, I like that one only because it helps, I feel, kind of rejuvenate Mm -hmm. your DNA, your cells in your body. And Mm -hmm. it just helps, you know, I don't know, just, I'm not gonna say it's gonna, and I'm doing this as a disclaimer, it will not cure cancer. It will not cure. You yeah. know, we can't like say that. those things. Yeah. <laughs> but it will definitely help. Um, it, it, it definitely helps with healing for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing about tuning forks is that it does work with like the state of relaxation. Okay. Mm-hmm. And your body and your mind does this natural healing when these mechanisms are worked on you and and it it, it's like the best feeling because then you're you're also going into this relaxed meditative state when you're feeling this vibration okay so uh but the other thing i wanted to mention is that um if you have your own set you can do it to yourself as well it Mm does you don't have to do it on anybody else you know you can work it on yourself same with Um, bowls and stuff like that yeah yeah exactly yeah. yeah. And so that's and I, what I was going to bring up next. It's not just tuning forks that I work with. I, I do work with other things like singing bowls. And um, again, same thing. Bev, yeah. I remember my first session, it was with that grounding fork mm-hmm. and the singing bowl. And I was like, whoa, this is my kind of thing. Like it really was oh. like sound is my thing. <laughs> I, that's why I love going to sound baths and <laughs> totally. sound is my thing. However, it's funny that like don't get me wrong I do like music Mm -hmm. but my kind of music is like frequency music is what Mm -hmm. I like the most me too I love it so much yeah Yeah. and uh so that to me is 
more healing for me mm-hmm. in a way to just lay in that frequency or sound and just absorb it. Yeah. And, and like, shift. we are made out of sound. Like we really are. We're mm-hmm. made out of sound. So of so course we we're going to resonate sports. with sound. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And I would like to add in there too, is that yeah. I say these with, uh, to my clients as well <clears throat> with the sound, like everything I use in my sessions has been guided mm-hmm. to me as well. Okay. I do have forks and bowls and mm-hmm. they've always kind of just guided me and has been implemented into my work at the right time. And for whatever reason that they tell me and every, every chakra has its own frequency. And also every organ in your body has its own frequency. They're Mm -hmm. all different. Yeah. And so I always use that analogy of like, this is also why there are dogs who can sense and detect cancer because animals are so in tune to frequency. Mm -hmm. And so this is how they're actually trained to do that. It's not that they're smelling it. No, they're sensing it. Yes. And it's by, it's by frequency. And so when we can like move and shift the frequency that's there and bring it back to its original frequency, that's basically how I look at sound therapy. Right. Because when something is out, or it's not in its frequency, mm-hmm. or just shifting it to bring it back in alignment. <clears throat> and right. so with the chakra forks, we're retuning every chakra to be in flow with its frequency. Yes. And so when we use all these other tools, like Shelly has too, they work on all these other levels because we have not only organs and our DNA mm-hmm. and our cellular level, and yep. we've got our physical level. We have the emotional body. We have sh- chakras. Like yeah. there's there's so much <clears throat> that there is um, all these tools that we can use to That's right. assist in all of these different areas as well. So, yep. and with the, the chakra forks, when I was told to do chakra balancing, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, what are we doing? How are we doing that? So I had it one way where I used crystals and yes. these sprays and, <clears throat> and then during COVID it shifted and I got a very strong message. It was like, you need to buy a chakra tuning fork set. And I was like, okay so I did I bought the yeah. set and then it just sat there and I was like well what am I supposed to do with it I didn't yeah. know I know and as yeah. I just started working with people and doing chakra balancing it was like you're going to use this now you're going to do that now you need to do, mm-hmm. do, do these things on this person sometimes it was above them in their field sometimes I put it on them and it was yeah. like okay and so that shifted and it was like fine and then they were just saying like in, in the, I used those with the crystals at the time yeah. and then probably another year later, probably like, I want to say 2021, 2022, they're mm-hmm. like, okay, I think it's 21. They're like, you need to buy these boots to put on the bottoms of these forks. Yeah. And I was like, well, what the heck? Like, where am I going to get these? And I was like, well, fine, I'll just find them. And they're like, you're only going to find them in Ireland. And I was like, whatever. And I couldn't find them anywhere, but Ireland, I literally got, I think that was probably my only Etsy order ever. And, um, <laughs> they came from Ireland. And so I popped them all on there and they kind of just sat there and I was like, now what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. And then just one day in May, they were like, I came to work and they were like, you're not putting crystals on anybody anymore. You're going to do it this way. So how I do my chakra balancing is by, they guide me. I either put the boot directly on the chakra or I hold it above it in, in the field. So Mm -hmm. again, same thing. It was just kind of like intuitively led and guided. And so um, and the fork and the bowl I already had when Shelly had experienced mm-hmm. a session with me, I didn't have the, the chakra set yet. So, mm-hmm. um, so yeah, it's been, yeah. I love it. I love, yeah. I love doing that for people too. And my clients mm-hmm. love it too. And I love frequency. I'm all about, I'm all about quantum yeah. healing. I'm all about it all. And mm-hmm. so, um, so all these new tools that Shelly has is just, they're awesome. So, yeah. but yeah, I just wanted to kind of throw no, that in yeah. there too. No, I agree. And that's the thing. And that's why I'm saying like the same thing, you know, like when it comes to, um, chakra balancing, I still do use, like I'm where you were, you know, before yeah. too, like I still use the stones. However, I do the same thing. Like if I'm yeah. guided to use a fork and go to their frequency, yeah. like I will do that. And I, and I do. I, I try to be as upfront to any of my clients that come to see mm-hmm. me. I will say, you see some of the tools that I have here. There is a possibility yeah. that I may use them, even if they're in a rake, like a regular rake, totally. rake session. 
just oh, so yeah, that absolutely. they know that that they're receiving maybe a possibility mm. of you know mm. this this instrument right and um I would say yeah, for and, anyone who hasn't experienced any type of sound therapy try a sound bath or yeah. sound healing because that will be like a really good <laughs> experience Test. of Test. like yeah. experiencing frequency yeah. energy yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. Those are awesome, but they are, yes. but I want to say too, in light of that, mm -hmm. if it's not awesome for you. Yeah, totally. So if it's not, don't be discouraged because mm -hmm. it's just the frequency that maybe not aligns with you. Okay. Totally. So again, everything is in different frequency. So mm -hmm. you just have to find that frequency that you resonate with or like and you mm -hmm. can continue. But I also believe that mm -hmm. if it's something that you don't like, yeah. it's something you actually need. Totally. You, will, <laughs> so, you might have an amazing experience at one that's of those. Right. And you also might have an experience that was like, wow, that was just a lot, or I was really yes. overwhelmed, or yes. mm -hmm. wow, I was bawling and I didn't know why. You know, exactly. It might be moving something. That's right. And so I just want you to be not discouraged because yeah. it is for a reason. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and, and like I said, like, okay, so then I'm going to get back into the singing bowls. So mm -hmm. yeah, so the singing bowls um, is another part, like Bev was mentioning, that we do use in our, um, our sessions and our healing. And yeah. I like to use the singing bowl because again, it raises mm -hmm. vibration. Doesn't matter yeah. what type of bowl it is or frequency in that bowl. I believe yeah. it will always bring in, you know, vibration back into the body. And mm -hmm. so a lot of times what I will do with the singing bowls, I literally take that singing bowl and I will go from foot, like your feet to the very top of your head. And I yeah. will ring that bowl all the way up. And yeah. then at the, like closer to the, like when I'm done at the head, then mm -hmm. I will if I have that person's permission, I do ask sometimes, and sometimes I forget because like, I'm so like intuitive that they'll tell me just do it. But mm. um, I will try to remember to, to ask if I can place the singing bowl on their body. Yeah. Because sometimes when we put a singing bowl on somebody's body, mm -hmm. it can change the frequency in your body when that singing bowl is being chimed. So yeah, for sure you know, it can activate things or it can, you know, move things Shift or things. what have yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, I do do that. And then um, mm -hmm. like Bev mentioned, and I mentioned, I got a couple more new tools. Mm -hmm. And again, um, I can't, for some reason, we tried to test it <laughs> Didn't um, work. <laughs> to play the sound of my one crystal singing bowl and so the ones that are watching you you can actually see my singing bowl I'll just push down this camera a little bit there we go and uh so you know this is oh, I forgot to take the rubber ring out of it um uh, but yeah this is my little uh singing bowl crystal singing bowl and this singing bowl is for the crown so it is tuned for the crown um chakra chakra <laughs> Uh, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's, fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm here for, sis. Yeah. So uh, I wish I'm going to just hit it once and see if you can hear. If you get to, great. If you don't, just imagine <laughs> <laughs> what it would sound like. But like, I just lightly tap it. Oh, and I, I, I heard that. Did you? I heard, it, I heard the ding when you okay, hit it. Let me see if I can. Hold on a sec. Oh, I, six. Um, Okay, let me see if I can do it again. I'm like, I'm really good at imagining. I'm like, do I hear it or don't I hear it? I heard you hit it. Okay. Like, whatever, I just heard that, whatever that was. So I feel like if you hit it really hard, I can hear it. But well, I can't hit it hard because it might break. Oh yeah, well we don't want that. No. Well, however you hit it the first time, I heard that. Can you hear any of that? I heard something. Okay. It's probably trying to pick it up and then yeah. probably block it so out. So I'll I'll do it one more time. No, couldn't hear no. it this time. Weird. Okay. 
Yeah, that is weird. Maybe you were really imagining it though. Yeah, man, I'm so good at that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah so imagination. <laughs> I can't wait because I really want to use a couple of these in my sessions as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I also um, am planning to do them at workshops that I have been a you know, working with, um, uh, another lady here in Sherwood park. Nice. And I hope to use this as well when Bev and I do our own, um, retreats and things like that too. So there's that yes. one. And then, like I said yeah. earlier, I have this new baby and mm -hmm. it's my crystal triangle. And for those that can see it, that's what it looks like. And then I have like a little crystal, um, wand I guess you would call it and so I don't magical. know if you can hear this either but I'll try it I'll try nope yeah. Yeah. I couldn't hear anything yeah it's such a lovely lovely sound nice. but um yeah it's definitely something that I want to use also I'm just gonna... oh Stop. I heard something there oh did you that was weird. Yeah, it was like yeah. you were talking and it was like, oh, with your talk. Oh, it's interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, like you totally sound different. I don't know what is happening. Well, I don't is... know if it was like there and then the way you were talking, it was picking up on this, like, because your sound, your voice was yeah. traveling as the mic picks up your voice. I felt oh. like the sound was getting caught right. with your voice. Right. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and it's picking it up. Yeah, it's well, cool. I, I have, have to go use, back and listen. <laughs> yeah, we have to. Uh, but I hope to use this triangle in my sessions as well. Um, yeah, cool. I would like to try to, uh, not that I want to replace my my singing bowl when I use mm -hmm. it, but I really want to try it um, using this. But I'm also um, excited because I'm going to grab, not grab, but like, I'm going to make Mm. something else um mm -hmm. to add to my uh sound stuff so i'm hoping to join a lady who locally um is doing a workshop on making some drums and so i'm going to make my own drum as well and i can't wait for that either <laughs> sweet yeah and then nice bev and i those. found uh well bev did she really did she found some maracas and i we, put it uh, out there and it yeah happened it was awesome yeah yes. it was really cool so we each got a maraca to use as well yeah. so I'm excited Matching about that ones. And, mm. yeah so <laughs> yeah when it comes to sound therapy um like I I, I don't know what, how much else I can explain about it but mm -hmm. you really just if you're open to it yeah and you know someone who does you know um frequency work or sound therapy I really highly recommend to go try it yeah. And then just see how you feel, how you resonate with it, or you don't, but at least yeah. you'll understand what it's like to get a treatment done. It's, ex it's an experience for sure. It so it's on the feel state. Yes. Um, it's not something you just really think about. You got to experience it. And, and there's lots of other sound stuff. Like there is like the harmonic egg and like yes. there's other um, things that are out there now that <laughs> is sound um, yeah. frequency as well, but it's through music that's right. being played yeah. um instead of just sound um, well yeah like instruments it doesn't yeah, have to be exactly. just instruments this yeah, one is exactly. just like music so there is yeah. that type as well that's yeah. out there um that's yeah. like one of the examples I wanted to use and you could also um I always highly recommend the insight timer app. yes and you can get it on your phone it's free and it's actually incredible that it's free I tell it everybody is. to get it it's Me literally too. amazing <laughs> yeah. um yeah. But the insight timer mm -hmm. app, it has like a little singing bowl on it. A Tibetan yeah. singing bowl is what it looks like. And there is so much on there mm -hmm. where you can listen to bowls That's or right. different frequencies or guided meditations and like affirmation stories, whatever, everything's on it. But yeah. if you haven't experienced and you want to experience maybe hearing sound through like a mm -hmm. bowl or a frequency Tibetan um, bowls will be on there as well. And like binaural beats will be on there, which is That's a right. different frequency. So yep. there's lots of stuff on there too. If you just want to experience from home or if you're doing a meditation or, mm -hmm. or you feel like something is out, there's lots of stuff on there too, where you can For just sure. listen to it. And hopefully 
that will assist you in like shifting some of your energy or healing your whatever it is you're looking for. So that's right. Those are great tools too. Um, yes. To use for like, yeah. as Shelly and I were saying, like we love listening yeah. to frequency. So I do listen to frequency in the background, like when I'm doing work and mm -hmm. things like that, or if I'm really concentrating on something or tuning in, I love to have it in the background. And I do like to have it during sessions as well. I um, always have it in sessions. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I love it. So, yeah. and I am a music person. Like I do love yes. music. It raises my vibration. Um, so mm -hmm. yeah, great app. You can check it out if you want to yeah. hear certain sounds. If you want to Google, you know, tuning forks, weighted tuning forks, just to give you an idea of like that visual, if you've never seen them as well, since yeah. um, we, um, Shelly wasn't able to show us on screen today. Yeah. Um, so you can definitely look into that. And um, the one last thing I wanted to add that we didn't talk about is that sound can also be used for clearing. Yeah. So you can use it in clearing like your energy and you can use it for spaces as mm -hmm. well because the vibration runs from corner to corner of the entire space. So not yes. only is it raising vibration, but it can also clear out. So it's an excellent tool as well if you don't like smudging, uh, if right. you don't like the smell or you have asthma or allergies or anything, yes. some sensitivities, um, sound, singing bowls, forks, anything like that is excellent to, um, clear that. to clear the space. So, yeah. yeah. Yes. I forgot so many benefits. That. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it does. And, and that's, I think that's why I like it so much is because there is so many different ways so of much. doing it. Yeah. It's incredible. Yeah. It, yeah. it is. Just love it. I just love the fact that even like that, like what's amazing is Oh, there's another one too. There's another app. Mm. Sorry. There's another app. Oh, yeah. that if you're interested in following the Schumann resonance, yeah. Um, there is an app. And I think it is actually just called that. I'm just gonna double check, but I am pretty sure because I follow it. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, where are you? Um uh -oh. oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. called just Schumann Resonance, and it literally looks like um it's like blue and green. And uh, you can get it and download it in the app store, but it's like, is it free? Almost like a, yeah, it's free. There you go. And, um, but it looks like, like it, it will say, like I said, Schumann resonance, but it's, it looks like, you know, when you've gone for an ECG, right. Mm -hmm. And it looks yeah. like, it's like a heartbeat. Um, the lines yeah. Like, a, of... yeah. Like the waves, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you'll see on the app. Like perfect. It will show green and blue. So Check it out. that's the one. And it's really neat. It's kind of a little bit hard to understand, but mm -hmm. you will, once you kind of like follow it, you'll sort of notice each day or hour, even it will show you like how different the, the earth is in different frequency. It's really right. cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so cool. People because... can check that out. And you know, what's really cool though, is yeah. that certain times of the like month like if it's the new moon or the full yeah. moon and whatever like look at that frequency it's so Genius. amazing it's well, so cool there's so, a lot of energetic stuff happening at those yeah. times yeah so, so i wanted to mention that too. Me. yeah no that's yeah. awesome it's great tools and if it's mm -hmm. free it's for me so right check it out <laughs> yeah. check it out yeah. everybody i'm sure yeah. you'll enjoy these new tools and if they're in um the Alberta area, Sherwood mm -hmm. Park area, Edmonton area. Shelly um, has these in her space. Yeah, um, I do. She'll be away for February, but she'll be yeah. back. So <laughs> if you do want to experience it, you can definitely book in with her. Yeah. Um, I don't do as much sound therapy. Like I don't offer it as that. It's just, I see you sound and it's incorporated into my sessions, but, right. um, but for anybody that's in the Saskatoon area, but um, can other, come or, see or too. find somebody or, yeah. or whichever. So, um, <laughs> or find a sound bath somewhere. Those are cool too. Oh, so. uh, yes. If yeah. you can go to a sound bath, I They're highly fun. recommend. Mm -hmm. Well, and there's, go to different ones. Yes. They're not, not all the same. That's right. Everybody's different. They work differently. Mm -hmm. um, the girl that um, at work, that does sound baths and sound healing out of my center. Right. Uh, her name is Janessa, the cosmic energy healing um she's <laughs> awesome and um she she channels light language she's incredible and she has all kinds of sound it's mm -hmm. it's like sound healing that's what yeah. i consider hers to be as opposed to a sound bath yeah some i have attended their sound baths and it's just singing bowls that's right. it 
And then hers, she calls them sound baths, but I consider them sound healing because she uses all kinds of sound Mm -hmm. to drumming, to rain stick, to you name it. She's got so much, she takes you on this amazing journey. So it's just, they're just different and everybody's energy is different too. So of course, don't just go to one, try a couple. Yeah. It's well, anyway, we'll look at, at, look at, yeah. And look what happened to us. Like, you know, like yeah. I've been to a few oh, sound baths when, we went, like, when we went to Zenona, it was totally different. And I'm just like, I man. wanted to like dance uh, and do, you I, know, I was just like, oh, I just felt so free. It was so incredible. <laughs> I know it was so, it was yeah. like next level. Like I was yeah. like, I'm going to follow this man around, like mm-hmm. wherever he's offering these things. I know he's right? in the States and so his voice, so he's easy. like, Wait, wait, wait. I, how he changes and channels <laughs> I, know. I know I can still hear it and I'm just like me too wow yeah. it just I know. speaks to your soul yeah what? yeah so yes you gotta check about with famous three trees don't yeah. throw that out there again yes but, three trees um, yeah it is okay. um yeah like that that's said. next level like yeah. that's just wow he has yeah. like what 90 instruments or something I think like, so it was massive I can't remember he he probably is the only guy that has the most things yeah. like, like he, he used had... to be a musician. So he's yeah. very talented. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I don't even know all the things he used. Well, he I do that know. Jibberjew or whatever, whatever those things are called from Australia. Uh, I don't remember, but I do remember him having the gong, the singing yeah. bowls. He had the hand pan drum. He had, he had tons, Shelly. Like, like just tons. and he had like that those wooden, you know, like the wooden uh bamboo things. Yeah. And he had uh yeah, he had so much. Yeah. A lot. It was yeah, amazing. You gotta look he, him up. Yeah. And maybe he's on YouTube, apparently. I yeah, I think he, but, he said he was on YouTube. I yeah, I found one. Yeah. A YouTube video of his, but it was very short, and I'm not sure what happened. Like, I don't know what happened, mm. but like, I tried to see if there was more, and I, I'm sure there is, but there well, maybe there's some on his website. I wonder. Yeah, like I'm if he's got sure. some links or something. But, mm-hmm. but seriously, anyway, check it out, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> it is incredible, yeah. and um, yeah. sound therapy healing, it's all amazing. So it really yeah. is. So and try, yeah, try all kinds. Till you and find you that resonates sharing. with you. Thank you for asking my, uh, like I said, I'm not no expert, but <laughs> I do love to use it. I love using yeah. it in my sessions. I offer the session only because I just feel like we need it. We need, and like, we mm-hmm. also need it because of, you know, we get lots Everything, of low, gosh. well, yeah, like low Look at all the EMF right? out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gosh. So yes. that's why. So, it's incredible yes. check you. it out yes and uh yeah so thank DM us you if you so have any much. questions and yeah. yeah so thank you for sharing and thank you everybody for listening <laughs> yeah thank you so much for listening and uh listening to my ramblings and uh <laughs> um i you know just again i want to say that um i appreciate every one of you we appreciate you we all we sure love do. yeah you listening to us and um yeah thank you so much again and I'm yeah send, we're sending love light and gratitude to all of you all of you and absolutely hope to hear from maybe some of you if you have questions maybe we'll see some of you at the retreat <laughs> oh yeah we're gonna have a retreat <laughs> we'll just like, i'm just gonna put that out there yeah maybe. let's add that we'll in we're, we're going to have a retreat no it is happening it is um, happening we are it's having it's yeah. done that's right. We yeah. are having a retreat I mean, in June. June. So in watch Saskatchewan. for <laughs> yeah, watch for Bev's website, my website, uh, our Instagram on Empath yeah. Sisters, um, on the Healing Libra and um, Spiritual Mentor Beverly Lazar. Yeah, um, and if you subscribe to us, yeah, it'll be in our newsletter. That's right. Yes, in well. our newsletter. Yeah, we'll have all the details to come soon. Yeah. So if you're wanting to come, it's limited spots. So yeah. <laughs> we're freaking out. Yeah, we are. We're like, excited. June can't come any faster. We're just like, hurry up. I know. We're so excited. But we're very excited. So this hopefully we'll fun. get to maybe meet some of you new people there. Yeah. Um, familiar or new faces. We'd love to have you. So yes. we yes. appreciate you all. 
And again, like Shelly was saying, we send you lots of love and light and gratitude wherever this may find you today. Yes. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. Thank you. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.